Well, we had uh, originally expected a 50 basis point rate hike. And given these extraordinary developments we're seeing in the banking sector and in markets, we think the Fed is likely to nod its head at the financial stability risks uh, and, as a result, only hike by 25. I really do think, though, that there's going to be a debate around the table, and it's not going to be between 25 and 50. Given these stresses, it's very likely to be between zero and 25. Our expectation is that inflation remains hot enough that the uh, Fed will prefer to hike a bit and uh, uh, that over time they're likely going to need to hike yet more to extinguish mm. inflation. So do you think that the cuts in June are mispriced? I think uh, June sounds pretty aggressive uh, to me for cuts. Both because when I look at the inflation story, that's still looking pretty hot. But by the same token, you know, I think there's a lot of, of, of risk out there in the financial sector. I was at the Fed through uh, the global financial crisis. Uh, and so I've seen what these financial crises can do. But this looks very different to me. Uh, the large institutions are in better shape. The regulation is much stronger. And I think that we're a better position. And I don't see uh, this, this stress proliferating in a way that is going to mean the Fed's cutting by mid-year. But I do wonder if the data is starting to give them some, some room. I know you mentioned inflation, which came in hot, and some of the data releases. Although some of this latest University of Michigan sentiment dipped. This was before the banking problems began. And the inflation expectations, importantly, are now at the lowest since April 21. So there are some forward-looking indicators here showing inflation will come down, not to mention whatever comes out of this banking problem. At the very least, it's going to be tighter lending standards and a weaker economy, right? Yeah, this is absolutely the case when we have these kinds of financial stability stresses, uh, they take a toll uh, on economic activity. And I think the debate is, you know, how serious and how long-lived uh, that, uh, that headwind uh, is. And is it possible that it is sufficiently severe that the Fed is actually hiking by mid-year? I would say yes. But, you know, what we've seen over the last three years for the global economy and for the U.S. economy is uh, extraordinary resilience. And there have been these periods where we've absorbed shocks. Uh, for instance, uh, the sterling crisis, the guilt crisis uh, last fall. And they grab our attention. They're threatening. But the economy has shown an extraordinary capacity to shake them off. And we just have to see how this thing uh, proceeds. There's certainly meaningful downside risk that we're monitoring. But at this stage, yeah. this feels like there's still some underlying strength in the economy and the financial stresses are more likely uh, to recede and be front and center in three to six months' time.